In this workbook, we're shopping for some office items and we're checking prices at three different stores. So the store names are in the headings in cell B1 to D1 and the item names are down column A from A2 to A6. We check the prices and then enter those in this range of cells. So those are just typed in from us doing our research. Now we'd like to find out which is the lowest price for each item. So we have three prices for each item and to find the best price in each row we can use the min function. So I've selected cell E2. I'll start with an equal sign and type min, an open bracket, and then I can select either single numbers or a range of cells. So I'm going to select B2 to D2, close the bracket and press the enter key. So the best price for a lamp we can see here is $35 and that's at Sears. So I'm going to select that cell and double click on the fill handle to fill the formula down to the last row. So now we can see the best price for each item. But we'd also like to know at a glance which store has that best price. We're going to see whether the 35 is in column 1, which is Walmart, or 2 for Sears, or 3 for Staples. We're going to be using the index function and the match function. First we'll see how the match function works. It will look through these three cells and try to find this 35. So in this cell I'll start with an equal sign, type match, and an open bracket. The value that I want to look for is this minimum price, and then a comma, the lookup array, the cells where we want to search, are the prices we typed in that row, so B2 to D2. And then our last choice here is we want an exact match. So not something that's less than or greater than what we're looking for. We want an exact match. So I'll double click on that, close the bracket, so our best price match is in store number two. So that's how that would work. If we filled that down, it would show here, go to store number one, which is Walmart. So the match function will give us the column to look in. But instead of just having a number here, we'd like to see the name of the store. And the names are up here in B1 to D1. With the index function, we can go to a range and look in a specific row or column in that range and return the value. So here, for example, we could type index, open bracket, and looking in these three heading cells, we're not looking for a specific row, we're looking for a specific column. If I type a two there and close the bracket, that tells me that Sears is the second column value in this range that I selected. With this index function, now if I copy it down right now, it's a relative reference. The rows will change as I copy down. So you can see that it's finding values down each row. So to lock that in, you can type a dollar sign in front of each row number. And now if I copy that down, we can see that it's always going to be looking in that heading row. The other thing we're going to change here is instead of typing a 2, that's not going to be very flexible, we'll put our match function in here. So match, and we're looking for the value, which is the best price. Where we're going to look in this row is B2 to D2, and we want our exact match. I'll type the last bracket and press enter, and we can see Sears now. Copy that down, and each store now has the name up here. So in this one, for example, we're looking for the headings in B1 to D1, 
matching the price in E5, looking through these cells, and it found that Walmart is the best price. So 485, we can see that's correct. So we use index and match to find the store name for the best price on a specific item.